Blessings to you all in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to share a prophetic word Father God gave to me about preparation on the 16th of October, 2020 at 5.20 a.m. God said, be prepared, be set. This was the same period where he was um, just making me understand that I was going to travel. He told me to prepare to travel back in August of that same year. I didn't really take it seriously. I had so much doubt in my life. God wants somebody to hear this word even right now because there's something that he wants you to receive. There's some place he wants you to go to and he wants this word to go out to you as a word of encouragement, as a word of confirmation, as a word of reassurance to you that he has got you and he's saying prepare. Don't be in doubt of what I've spoken to you that is about to take place in your life, child of God. I need you to be prepared for the promise that I'm about to bring upon your life. I need you to be prepared for whatever it is that you're believing me for. You can't not be believing me for just anything and then you're not prepared to receive it. The Lord is saying, prepare yourself. Put yourself together. Organize yourself so that you are uh, presentable, so that you are set to receive uh, whatever it is that I have already prepared for you. I don't know who this word is going to be for, but it's going to be for somebody that has been doubtful, thinking, wondering, or even trying to figure out how to prepare. You can ask the Lord, God, what are you saying about so and so and so? And how do I prepare for this? Hallelujah. If God has told you you're traveling, prepare for the travel. Put your things together. If God says you're getting married soon, prepare. Lose weight if you need to lose weight. Do what you need to do. Prepare yourself. Even if you lost your spouse, prepare to be remarried because God is able to reunite you to, uh, sorry, to, yes, to, to bring you uh, with, with your spouse, with who he wants you to be with, just like he did for Ruth and Boaz. So prepare yourself, child of God, for your ministry. If God has already you know you know um anointed you in your church right through your man of god your woman of god anointed you to go into ministry prepare for that ministry prepare your sermons or if it's an online ministry whatever it is prepare for your online ministry prepare for the training prepare for the seminar prepare do your training do everything that you need to do and be a prepared people be a prepared child of god hallelujah so when the time comes for you to receive what it is that god wants to put in your hands you know how to handle it you know how to move you know how to stay what it praise the lord don't just be relaxed and say oh god i'm waiting for you to bless me with so and so and so actually prepare yourself prepare yourself for wealth get training on on how to manage wealth or watch some you know um, online uh videos or whatever or I guess an account manager, you know, just prepare yourself for everything that Father God is preparing for you. You can also prepare through prayer. You can prepare through fasting. Prepare by going into the word of God. Know what God's word saying about your situation right now. Prepare yourself for what the Lord is saying to you right now. Take this word seriously, child of God. Hallelujah. Don't live in doubt. Don't live in unbelief. Don't live a faithless life. Prepare yourself and build up your faith as well. Hallelujah. So that you can finally come into your moment. Lack of preparation can actually delay you from coming into your moment that Father God wants to bring you into. Oh, yes, it can. Yes, it can. Amen. Preparation is a key that Father God wants us to apply. And that key is going to open a lot of doors. When you are prepared, you are set mentally, uh, physically, emotionally, and in every other way. So please prepare yourself, child of God, my brothers in Christ, my sisters in Christ. Prepare yourself. If you're trusting God for marriage, prepare for that person. Like I already said, prepare yourself, prepare your mind, prepare your finances as well. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So be prepared, be set. It's what the Lord said to me, but he didn't just say it once. He said it twice on that day, 16 October 2020. He said it twice. Be prepared. Be set, be prepared, be set. Whatever Father God wants to bring upon you, bring into your life in this hour, he wants you to be prepared for it. God doesn't want to just come and give something to you and you're not ready to handle it or to steward it, right? So prepare yourselves in every way that you need to, spiritually, physically, financially, emotionally. Prepare, be prepared. Again, it's a warning and it's an encouragement. Be prepared, something is coming to you. Be prepared. God is, is, is about to deliver something into your hands. Be prepared. Be prepared, child of God, and be set. Hallelujah. For your moment, for the blessing, for the breakthrough, for the turnaround, for the wealth, for everything, for the business. Hallelujah. Do your research on how to run that business. Hallelujah. Let's pray. 
Father, in Jesus' mighty name, I thank you for your word. Once again, you're such a loving and awesome father. I thank you for your mercy over every one of your children in this hour. I ask, Lord, that for those that you are about to bring something into their life or about to take them somewhere, I'm asking for grace. Let your grace overflow in their lives, the grace to prepare, the grace to be set, Heavenly Father, in every way that you need your people to be prepared and to be set in this hour, Lord, that we will not miss out on what you are about to bring upon ours or manifest in our lives. Lord, help us to prepare. Grant everyone lord grace to prepare for what is coming upon us in this hour in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth whether it's with regards to our destiny lord our calling our purpose marriage business ministry whatever heavenly father that you have prepared already for your people lord grant us all the grace lord to come into our moments to receiving to seeing that thing that you have in store for your people in jesus mighty holy name Receive the grace to begin to prepare the way that Father God wants you to prepare. Even right now, receive that grace for preparation in Jesus' mighty name. And I pray that you will never get to miss out on what Father God has already prepared for you. As you obey him to prepare and to set yourself in Jesus' mighty name, may you come to receive all the blessings that he has for you in this hour. In Jesus' mighty holy name. It's time to move forward, child of God. Prepare yourself. Be prepared and be set and be blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Shalom.